So here is finishing recipe and as you can see this turkey look absolutely gorgeous. So here's uh, what going to go inside of turkey. I have a full orange, carrots, lemon, um, garlic, celery sticks, a full apple, some sage and red onion. These all things are gonna make a juicy our turkey. So we're gonna fill up uh, inside of turkey with this stuff. On the bottom I have some carrots and some celery and some red onion and I will put the chicken broth on the bottom bottom so we will inject our turkey with that so first we are putting the apple as you know my bird is already flavored with the butter I put a lot of herbs recipes on my channel already I did that night before so we have an easy access just to fill inside and put turkey in the oven and I have show you we are using a celery sage apple red onion you can use a sweet onion it's up to you some baby carrots um, some orange and even if you want to do stuffing you can do stuffing too but this year we want to make a more juicy so that's why we are using a lot of these things inside of bird that will help to keep moist the, especially the breast part you know which need a more moist there and this turkey is a 16.7 laps so that will take almost uh, uh, three to three and a half hours And here we are tying up the legs of turkey. We were used to at the pins, but then we thought the, just the tying the legs are enough I to need, keep together. I need to put Alright, our bird is filled up and uh, I just use uh, olive oil on a top so in that way with the butter the skin not gonna burn quickly and I'm also going to cover turkey top uh, breast area with the tin foil wrap uh, which will help us to not to burn the skin quickly and at the last hour of uh, our baking I will remove the uh, wrap and we will just golden brown our turkey skin and other hand I have a chicken broth which I gonna pour onto bottom for our base so after uh, one hour or every 30 minutes we can just in you know inject or uh, just to top base with this all the stocking from bottom and my oven is 350 up already it's very hot right now and that's a good temperature for each pound you know and my turkey is a 16 and 0.7 pounds so that's a good temperature for three and a half hours so let's start it all right so turkey is in now and I'm gonna put one hour and after one hour I will baste the turkey and keep doing till four hours. So this is after our three hours and we will keep using uh, the bottom base, the, the turkey. And now one hour we are going to do without the tin foil. And also we will check the temperature that's supposed to be between 160 to 170. Majority people say 160 is fine and also I will keep eye on this thermometer from Turkey if it's popped out that means your Turkey is done. 
So we just have one more hour to go and our turkey will be done. So here is turkey done and you can see the temperature. Going around 60, 160 to around 80. It's supposed to be 160 to 170 and here it is. You know, around, yep, 170. So that's perfect. Now we are just going to keep for one and a half hour rest and then I will transfer to a serving dish and I will show you how to garnish your turkey for serving. All right, so here our turkey and here my serving tray and we're just going to transfer into the tray and see because we let it set for one and a half hour and all the dripping is in this tray which I can later use for uh, making uh, gravy or broth and that's it so now I just gonna do a little bit of garnishing on a side and this turkey is good to serve so here is finishing recipe and as you can see this turkey look absolutely gorgeous and it was fun to prep this for thanksgiving I hope you are having a blessed Thanksgiving. If you really enjoyed our Twitter recipe, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Wishing you all a very blessed Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.